So Deja Bishop is exactly the type of student who represents Thomas Stone quietly. She handles her schoolwork, she handles her task outside of school, she's in a variety of things. She's a truly well-rounded student, but she just does it in a very quiet way, which sometimes is even more impactful. Was I supposed to be caught off guard? Because... Well, maybe a little. A little? I really enjoyed being here. I've done many things within the community, such as SDA and National Honor Society. They really try to instill cougar pride, and just being kind to everyone, and show pride in your school, show pride in yourself. Deja's a member of our business management CTE program. She also is a member of the National Honor Society student government, and she's a varsity cheerleader. Outside of school, she volunteers with her church, babysits. I just like community service and helping everyone. I know a lot of people come from different backgrounds and don't have the same opportunities I have, so I just want to be able to help. She's involved in the Rotary Club, and then she's involved also in a debutante program. So for her to do all of those things and then maintain the academics that she has is really admirable. You just can't name like one thing she's good at versus another. And I think for Deja, she just does it so effortlessly to her, it's nothing. I think it's just a testament to who she is and what she does and what she's been able to accomplish. When I found out I was up for the Maryland Emerging Scholars Award, I didn't think I was going to win. I have a good GPA, but there's better. So I didn't think I was going to be selected for it. Being the senior counselor, you hear just a million different opportunities for your students. When the award came up, I had just written a recommendation for Deja. When I saw the award and the requirements for it, I just think there's not really a student who is more deserving. This was a very prestigious thing because I know that this isn't an opportunity given to every student, and it just was a testament to her hard work. I was really excited to be even recognized for this award and that people just thought, like they believed in me and I was just really excited and happy and, and of course my family was too. Honestly, I think the sky's the limit for her. She is very personable, very charismatic. She's very, very humble and I think those are qualities that are really going to serve her in whatever she decides to do after high school. So when I go to Winston-Salem, I want to major in business and do finance. Knowing how to handle your money is very important in this economy because a lot of people, they struggle economically. So that's like another part of giving back in a way, like helping them. We're all proud of her here at Thomas Stone. I know that in her future, she's going to do great things. So I just can't wait to see what her future holds for her.